Diagnosing cancer at an earlier stage is an essential part of our professional duty as GPs. We are likely to diagnose around eight new cancers every year. A quarter of the patients present through accident and emergency with a poor outcome. Many of the symptoms that relate to cancer, patients still aren't aware of. Difficulty swallowing, persistent cough, less than 30% of people recognise that as a significant issue. Early diagnosis helps not only the patient, it also helps everyone who they come in contact with, children, family, husbands, wives. We need to be able to decide who to prioritise for rapid ongoing investigation or referral. And that is a complex task which can't be underestimated because we're seeing many patients who have symptoms that could indeed turn out to be cancer, but the vast majority of them don't. So to support GPs, Macmillan Cancer Support has worked to develop an electronic decision support tool based on research done by Professors Julia Hipsley-Cox and Willie Hamilton. The Cancer Decision Support Tool allows you to assess symptoms looking at five different kinds of cancers. They are esophagogastric, pancreatic, ovarian, colorectal and lung. This software allows GPs to assess and decide on which patients need investigation and referral for their symptoms. The tool's not there to take away the decision making from GPs, it's there to support that decision making in what can be a very busy consultation. Once it's installed into your system, it lives alongside your clinical records. When you bring up a patient's record, if that patient has a greater than 2% risk of developing any of these five cancers, a yellow prompt box will appear. Then, by going into that prompt box, you can see on what basis the system has given that degree of risk. It gives you a percentage score and according to that percentage score you're able to see whether what the risk is um, and then you can use your clinical judgment to see whether that's valid or not. The second way that you can use the tool is as a symptom checker. Once a patient has come in to see you, you can press the button and then the risk calculator will come up again. By ticking the various boxes, you can assess that patient's risk of developing any of the five different kinds of cancers covered. I've had a situation myself where I've seen someone with weight loss and I might have been umming and ahhing about referring the patient, but after having the blood test back, the risk score had changed to the level where actually I thought this person does need referring. For me, the highlight of the Cancer Decision Support Tool is the population risk stratification. That allows the tool to go through your whole practice population, highlighting those patients at higher risk. Speaking as a commissioner, prevention and early diagnosis are absolutely key to our strategy. It's what we want to do. So anything that we can put in place that will help GPs with that, like the CDS tool, is absolutely a priority for us. 15% of cases it was lower. We piloted the tool last year with 550 practices and an evaluation done by Cancer Research UK has shown that in 20% of the patients who were referred on after using the tool, the GPs have said they wouldn't have made that referral if they hadn't had access to the tool. Loading in. Yeah. Yeah. in London, we devised a best practice pathway to encourage GPs to refer patients early. And I think it would be really useful to include the Macmillan tool. Okay. All right. okay. Anything that would help referring patients early would improve patients' outcomes. And that's really what it's all about. Early diagnosis. My feelings are that the most important thing this tool does for us as GPs is it makes us think cancer. 